Part the sixth. First voice. But tell me, speak again, thy soft response renewing. What makes that ship drive on so fast? What is the ocean doing? Second voice. Still as a slave before his lord, the ocean hath no blast. His great bright eye most silently up to the moon is cast. If he may know which way to go, for she guides him smooth or grim. See, brother, see how graciously she looketh down on him. First voice. But why drives on that ship so fast without or wave or wind? The air is cut away before and closes from behind. Fly, brother, fly, more fly, more high, or we shall be belated. For slow and slow that ship will go when the mariner's trance is abated. I woke and we were sailing on as in a gentle weather. "'Twas night, calm night, the moon was high, the dead men stood together, all stood together on the deck, for a charnel dungeon fitter, all fixed on me their stony eyes that in the moon did glitter, the pang, the curse with which they died had never passed away. I could not draw my eyes from theirs, nor turn them up to pray. And now this spell was snapped. Once more I viewed the ocean green and looked far forth, yet little saw of what had else been seen, like one that on a lonesome road doth walk in fear and dread, and having once turned round walks on and turns no more his head, because he knows a frightful fiend doth close behind him tread. But soon there breathed a wind on me, nor a sound nor motion made. Its path was not upon the sea, in ripple or in shade. It raised my hair, it fanned my cheek, like a meadow gale of spring. It mingled strangely with my fears, yet it felt like a welcoming. Swiftly, swiftly flew the ship, Yet she sailed softly too. Sweetly, sweetly blew the breeze on me alone. It blew, oh, dream of joy. Is this indeed the lighthouse top I see? Is this the hill? Is this the kirk? Is this mine own country? We drifted o'er the harbor bar, and I with sobs did pray. Oh, let me be awake, my God. Oh, let me sweep away. The harbor bay was clear as glass, so smoothly was it strewn. And on the bay the moonlight lay, and the shadow of the moon. The rock shone bright, the kirk no less, that stands upon the rock. The moonlight steeped in silentness, the steady weather cock. And the bay was white with silent light, till rising from the same Full many shapes that shadows were in crimson colors came a little distance from the prow. Those crimson shadows were. I turned my eyes upon the deck. Oh Christ, what saw I there? Each course lay flat, lifeless and flat, and by the holy rood, a man all light, a seraph man, 
on every course there stood. This seraph band each waved his hand. It was a heavenly sight. They stood as signals to the land, each one a lovely light. This seraph band each waved his hand. No voice did they impart, no voice, but oh, the silence sank like music on my heart. But soon I heard the dash of oars, I heard the pilots cheer, my head was turned perforce away, and I saw a boat appear, the pilot and the pilot's boy, I heard them coming fast, dear Lord in heaven, it was a joy, the dead men could not blast. I saw a third, I heard his voice, it is the hermit good, he singeth loud his godly hymns that he makes in the wood, he'll shrieve my soul, he'll wash away the albatrosses blood.